All right, in this first video, we're gonna to talk to you about how water enters the pool, how it's circulated in the pool, and how it goes back to your pump and filter system. So the first thing to show you is every pool has three return jets. Turn the water off so you can see a little bit clearer, but there's one under the spa. The return jet is a little eyeball that has the, the adjustable water flow back into the pool. There's one on this wall. If I follow back around the side, there's also a return jet on this wall and there's a return jet on the tanning ledge. There's three in every pool that we do. The point of the return jets is to move water back into the pool and is to create a circular rotation of water in the pool. The point of that is to move debris around the pool and send it the top of the debris to the skimmer. On this pool, the skimmer is, is right here. A lot of the pools we do are gonna have a combination of either a paver skimmer like this one or a black lid that you're simply gonna remove and you're gonna see the skimmer on the inside. I'm gonna do a specific video about the skimmer more in detail, but for now, just to know that the skimmer is where that top end debris is coming through and it's being, um, it's being siphoned in and it's being trapped in a basket. So any leaves, any items like that. The biggest idea for the skimmer to remember is that you wanna keep it cleaned out. There's a basket inside. Um, I'll quickly show you before we move on. If you take the lid off, there's a basket on the inside. The basket simply removes out any debris that you have inside of the skimmer. You're going to want to remove that debris, um, dump it out. Every pool is a little bit different on how much, um, how often you have to clean this. It's based off of how much is, is falling in the pool. And, and just keeping an eye on yours, I would say check it once a week at least. When you're done, you just want to drop this back into, into the bottom. It just seats itself back into the bottom. And then you're going to want to replace this lid, the skimmer lid whether it's the paver top or the black circle lid. The next thing to point out, just in general flow of water, again, the return jets are moving the water. The skimmer is skimming the water to clean top end debris. The next place where water is being pulled from the pool are two main drains in the bottom of the pool. So if you look at the main drains in the bottom of the pool, if we can get that in the shot, there are two rimmed circles those are pebble tech on top to help them blend in. They are split at a certain distance apart per code to protect people from laying across them so they're not dangerous. And they also have anti-vortex lids on top of each one. So per code, those are set where they're super safe. You don't have to be concerned about your kids swimming in those and being around those. Um, the last thing to point out as far as where water is being pulled from the pool is gonna be your cleaner. The cleaner that we use is either going to be the Navigator Flex, which is what you see in this video in a few minutes. We'll go over that in more detail. Um, or the older Gobi, which is a gray one. They both work the exact same way. And they are a suction side cleaner, which is being driven by suction from the pump. And so those are the main overview of how water is circling in the pool and how it is cleaning itself for the pool section alone.